Hey teachers, right now it is extremely difficult to take students on field trips. That is if we're even able to take them on field trips at all. But the thing is, we know that field trips can have a very positive impact on student learning and that giving students opportunities to explore the world around them helps them to make inferences and retain information better. So the question becomes, how do we give students hands-on opportunities to explore the world around them in the age of COVID and social distancing? Well, recently I discovered a new online learning tool that is absolutely incredible. It allows students to explore this world and beyond without leaving the comfort of their living room. I cannot wait to share more with you in this video today. As a curriculum developer, I am always researching the latest tech trends in education. It is my job to recognize platforms and learning tools that are going to have a positive impact on student learning, both now and in the future. And recently I discovered Seek Education's Augmented Reality Tool, and it is literally one of the coolest things I have ever experienced as an educator. After I created my account on their website, I probably spent two hours of my own time just exploring the site, um, pulling up the different augmented reality features in my living room. It was literally like I was a kid. My husband came in and saw me experimenting and then he got involved. It was literally so much fun and so educational at the same time. And the fact that my husband and I was at, were having so much fun with it, I know that students are gonna love this tool too. Now, before I show you exactly how this tool works for taking virtual field trips, I wanna make sure you understand exactly what augmented reality is. Because when I first discovered this tool, I thought that augmented reality and virtual reality were exactly the same thing, and that's not the case at all. Virtual reality, it creates simulations all around you, but that often requires a lot of equipment and possibly headsets in order to create those simulations. And because you're wearing a lot of equipment, you have a headset, you have um, all kinds of just equipment and tools around you, it can be really difficult to communicate and share ideas with others around you as you uh, experience a virtual reality program. Now, on the other hand, what augmented reality does is it puts a virtual layer over your learning space. So you can pull in artifacts, buildings, and animals right into your learning space and interact with them with just a smartphone or a tablet. And since you're not being weighed down by all kinds of equipment and your head's not being covered up with a headset, it makes it very easy for the people interacting with the augmented reality to communicate and share ideas with each other. So augmented reality is hands down the perfect solution for virtual field trips. And I am going to show you what it looks like to go on a virtual field trip using augmented reality right now. So this is what it looks like when you log into the Seek Education website and you can see there are all kinds of places, artifacts, animals, uh, models, all kinds of things that you can look at. Uh, let's look in this one because it will kind of show you this is a variety of all the different things that are offered um, just to show you a few things and one thing that I think is super cool is they actually just added Harry Potter so now in addition to history and science they're starting to combine literary elements in as well that students can examine and look at but what I want to show you today is you will see this area here where it says virtual field trips and they have already prepared all kinds of virtual field trips that your students can take so let's go to ancient Egypt okay so I've got the program pulled up for the virtual field trip and I'm just gonna go to the slide and you will see there are several slides here that talk about different artifacts and architecture in ancient Egypt. And for each of these slides, all your students are going to do is they're gonna hold their phone or tablet over the QR code and then the augmented reality will appear. So let me show you. So 
So you can see when you are looking at me, it doesn't actually look like I'm doing anything, but when you look at the screen on my phone, you can see that I am getting up close to the pyramids. I can study the stones carefully. I can actually zoom in and out. Um, I can see all kinds of different angles. You can see the Penny Lane is getting in on the action, but I have brought the pyramid right here to my home and can explore it in this way. Okay, so right now I've just pulled up another um, Egyptian artifact, and this one's really cool because you can actually crawl inside. So I have it pulled up right now. You can see it on my screen, and you can see Penny Lane's gonna have to get out of the way. Watch out, Penny Lane! But you can see, now I am actually on the inside of this artifact, this Egyptian artifact, and you can see there's the ceiling, there's the inside walls, but I have actually crawled inside, and now I'm gonna crawl back out, and I can turn around and study the outside of it. So it's not even just looking at the outside of objects and buildings, you can actually go inside some as well, which is so, so cool. And you can see, I can actually get up really close. I can look at the hieroglyphics. I can study the art. It's seriously one of the most fun things that I've gotten to do. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is that these virtual field trips are not just limited to this world. You can also explore worlds beyond with these virtual field trips. So right now, I am going to journey into the solar system. So I'm going to scan this QR code and then I am going to pull it up right here in my space. I think Penny Lane's going to be in the middle of the solar system. Okay, there you can have the sun and here we can see some of the planets moving around. They're moving kind of quickly, um, but you can also zoom in. There are the rings on one of the planets. We can also see moons swirling around some of the planets. Uh, but just wanted to show you real quick that we are not just limited to Earth and things here when you are taking these virtual field trips. Some other pre-made virtual field trips include the Louvre Museum in Paris and World Heritage Sites. It is also easy to create your own virtual field trips using some of the models that are available. Some of my favorites include Big Ben, the Capitol Dome in Washington, D.C., a Mayan ruin, the moon, and the Grand Canyon. Another way you could create virtual field trips using Seek Education's augmented reality is by creating curated museum visits related to a specific topic. For example, let's say I'm teaching students all about Central America. I could create a custom list of Mayan and Aztec art and artifacts and architecture that students can examine using augmented reality. And it's kind of like taking your students on a personalized museum field trip. A few months ago, I created another video all about virtual field trips where I shared different websites and places that you can go to take your students on a virtual field trip. And to be honest, that's what I've been seeing most teachers doing is using museum websites and historical websites to do virtual field trips. But let me tell you, augmented reality is so far and above beyond doing that and your students will just have so much fun with it. And like I said earlier, I know your students are gonna have so much fun with it because of how much fun I had with it. If I was crawling all over the floor, laughing, learning, just having a blast, I know your students are going to do the same thing. If you're interested in learning more about virtual field trips using Seek Education's augmented reality, make sure to click the link in the description for this video. When you click that link, you'll be given access to a free seven day trial so you can explore all of the features and start assigning virtual field trips to your students straight away. I promise you and your students will not be disappointed at all. And if you decide to take a virtual field trip with your students using augmented reality, I definitely want to hear all about it. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know where you took your virtual field trip to or what artifacts your students examined. And let me know whether your students had a great time with it. I would love to hear from you. And then when you're finished, 
Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps this channel grow. It helps us to reach more teachers. And it also helps you by letting you know when we upload our latest teaching tips and resources. So until next time, happy teaching.